So just how nervous are Trump allies in the wake of Monday's indictments? Well, former chief strategist Steve Bannon is advising the president to get tough with Robert Mueller. And as Vanity Fair reports today, quote, Bannon sense of urgency is being fueled by his belief that Trump's hold on power is slipping. Bannon did a spitball analysis of the cabinet to see which members would remain loyal to Trump in the event the 25th Amendment were invoked, thereby triggering a vote to remove the president from office. Bannon recently told people he's not sure if Trump would survive such a vote. Joining me now, Jeremy Peters, New York Times political reporter and an MSNBC contributor, Anita Kumar, White House correspondent for McClatchy Newspapers, and Charlie Sykes is back with us. Jeremy, let me start with you. Um, the Vanity Fair uh, reporting aside, uh, if you want to survive a 25th Amendment challenge, maybe you should stop attacking your cabinet on Twitter. <laughs> Well, there is that. Uh, I mean, the the attorney general, right? He, we thought he was a goner a long time ago. I think Donald Trump is one who loves to remind his subordinates who's in charge, and he loves to publicly hum humiliate the people who work for him. But I think that you know, before we go predicting whether or not he's losing his grip on power or whether or not he's in any type of political peril. Uh, you know, th through removal from office or, or indictment or whatever, we should remember that we're often pretty bad at predicting these things. I mean, I think that the predictions of his political demise are inversely proportional to his actual political peril. And Donald Trump has survived far worse than what we've seen him go through this week. And Martha, Jeremy makes a good point. I talked to uh, Trump advisors and Anita, uh, I'm sorry, um, in and out of the White House all the time. And, and they're alarmed by the kinds of things that Corker sees up close. They are alarmed by how he handles himself in office. I have actually not heard um, anyone really sort of gaming out a strategy for the 25th Amendment or for impeachment. Haven't heard a word of that. <laughs> um, I will say this week, clearly on Monday after the, uh, you know, after the plea agreement came out, they were not thrilled with that for sure. But you know, there are other things to worry about, and there are other reasons that Donald Trump is having problems. Obviously, you've mentioned one, fighting with Republicans, but his approval ratings are not high, and and he's really got to be worried about what's happening on Capitol Hill. I mean, they did not pass the health care bill, and now a tax reform looks like it, you know, it's in trouble too. So. So, so we'll see, but I mean, it's really make or break on tax reform. So there's a lot of other things on the on his plate, tweeting as well, <laughs> which is not really popular. So he's got to worry about a lot of other things. It's not just the investigation. And and Charlie, something that really demoralizes them um, uh, more than any of the other yeah. things, like the 25th Amendment or talk of it, yeah. they view those things as largely out of their control. But when when the president spends eight days and just can't let go a fight with a gold star widow, yeah. or when General Kelly. Um, sort of gets dragged I I into an, a fight about monuments. I, I mean, it's it's those things that they view, particularly the national yeah. security folks throughout the administration, not just in the White House. They view those all sort of in the category of self-inflicted wounds. Well, and they are, but they're also reflections of Donald Trump. The Donald Trump presidency is not the staff, it's not the cabinet, it's the president. Now, Steve Bannon uh, is right and wrong on, 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 in, in this. I think that he is right to recognize that this investigation poses an existential threat to this presidency, and and so. The, that, 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 is, that is an important insight. But you know, look, uh, Jeremy Peters is absolutely right. There's going to be no 25th Amendment. This guy is not going anywhere. On the other hand, you know, the, there, there's a lot of reasons to believe that this will get worse. And that Vanity Fair article that, that you reference also describes the president who is still talking to Roger Stone and to Steve Bannon. Okay, so we, we, have, we have the voices from Crazy Town and apparently has become very disillusioned with Jared Kushner. So you have someone right now who is increasingly isolated from the country, from his own political party and within his own White House. You know, Jeremy is right that you have to be careful about making predictions, but this cannot be good. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.